Dr. Rohit Khanna from LVPEI to give his talk on vision centers. How a vision center should be built up in a remote area. Good afternoon, everybody. I'll be talking about uh, vision center, a model for care in remote rural areas. And this is the campus in LV Prasad Institute from where we come from. And uh, this will be the outline of the talk. I will just give you an overview of what vision center is, what are the different components, and how do we how are we performing in these vision centers, and how uh, is vision center being used as a model for universal eye health coverage? What technology has the role to play, which Mukesh already has highlighted, I will just touch on it, and what impact it has created in the network. So uh, Mukesh briefed about this eye health pyramid model where we have center of excellence at the top and the vision garden at the bottom. And this is the place at uh, community level where we have the vision centers for a population of 50,000. So uh, what we call this one secondary center for a half a million population, 10 vision centers again for a half a million, one for 50,000 each, and 100 vision guardian each for 5,000, a village vision complex. So uh, it is more like a district model in a government setting. Uh, where half a million to one million population and where you have uh, vision center are equivalent to like you have a primary health center where you have the refraction units kept uh, and then vision guardians are like something like community health workers or ASHA workers, what you have in the government sy system. So this is what we call as a village vision complex, one secondary center, 10 vision centers and 100 vision guardians. And this are, uh, so 10 vision centers are all uh, So 10 vision centers are sc scattered around one, one secondary center and uh, then we have vision guardians around it and then we have different eye care projects which are revolving around the vision centers and the secondary centers. So this makes, this gives us a very comprehensive overview of what happens in a population of 500,000 which we can really show impact over a period of 5 to 10 years. Uh, given the problem what uh, uh, Sandeep also pointed out, so this is what is a bilateral problem. What we found is in a population of 50,000 people, you will have at least 5,000 people who have bilateral eye problems. And if you add unilateral to it, it will be approximately another um, 5,000 you can add. So almost 20, 25% of people in a community will have some or the other kind of eye problems. So the need is huge there. And for this, uh, be because of that concept, uh, uh, a population of 50,000 will have at least 20-25% with eye problem which is approximately 10,000 people. So over a period of time if you can take care of eye care of these people, uh, you will be taking care of almost everybody's eye care in the population. So based on that concept, a vision center also was developed and uh, which covers a 50,000 population and which was basically used to provide spectacles, refraction and uh, also uh, refer cases which are, not, which are having eye problem to a higher centers. Uh, typically we don't charge here but uh, there are hosp uh, institutes who can charge, who charge for the vision center but for us vision center is absolutely free of cost and uh, the key HR at the vision center is uh, a vision technician who is one year trained for a basic optometric course and uh, also hands on training is given to them. And these are the basic functions they performed are three, four hours which is refraction, recognition of uh, blinding and non-blinding eye conditions and referrals and also they do nowadays low vision and rehabilitation also. And a typical equipment of a vision center, I won't go into details of all the equipment of a vision center and uh, the structure of a vision center. Typically we have an area of 500 square feet where we set up a vision center. This is the outline and uh, typically a vision center usually sees uh, 300 to 450 patients per month and dispense 90 to 120. These are average I'm talking about. Some centers may have higher based on the coverage. Some centers may have lower. And the cost for us is uh, almost uh, 800,000 rupees. Uh, the major cost is equipment because we use a Zeiss slit lamp, but that cost can be worked around if you are using a low cost, low end slit lamp in the vision centers. Uh, I'll just skip this. And uh, there is a strict quali quality control monitoring at the vision centers uh, by the clinical and the non-clinical team, uh, which goes every month. And also one of the important uh, success parameter of vision center is optical supply chain. So I think there is a good quality control system has to be put in place if you want to have all these systems into place, optical and uh, clinical as well as referral and uh, network with the community. Uh, 
coming to the performance, uh, these are the number of vision centers which have grown. So the first vision center we started in the year 91-92, which was in the city of Hyderabad. Uh, and subsequently, there was a big gap of nearly 10 years. And then subsequently, it leapfrogged from uh, two, three vision centers in four to now, right now, we have 169 vision centers across the network. Uh, this is the network where we have 169 vision centers and 17 secondary centers. And by the end of this year, probably we'll reach around 200 vision centers. Coming to the performance, year by year, the performance is increasing, but the number of vision centers are also increasing. So last year we saw was almost 300,000 outpatients at these vision centers. And just giving an example of how this vision center was used as a universal eye coverage in one of the area where we had vision centers for almost last 10 years. So we went back and look at how much population we have covered. We can go into the details, how did we do the calculations and all. But what we found was the overall coverage was 45% of the population. So we didn't cover, still in 10 years, we have not covered the entire population. And the coverage was based on need. That means people who really require eye care. Many of them were normal. So the people who really require eye care was, we have covered only 39%. So in 10 years, we could reach only 40% of the population in the community. Still 60% are untouched in that community. Uh, we also looked at the ability of vision technicians. Can they do, other, apart from refraction, can they pick up other conditions? Yes, they can pick up other conditions. What we found that uh, the glaucoma, what they picked up was almost uh, 30, uh, the sensitivity was 35%. So at least of three glaucoma cases, they could pick up at least one. They were missing two glaucomas because they were not dilating the patients. And in retinal conditions, they used to pick one is to four. So at least they were picking one retinal condition. So how do we make sure that we pick up the rest three also? And even the glaucoma remaining two are not missed out. So their role comes the roles of technology, uh, which Vukesh was talking about. And we're trying to use that. And we recently found that, uh, that, that, this, that that is not published. But what we found that with technology, the sensitivity has improved from 35% to 70% using the technology as vision center to pick up glaucoma. We have not looked at the retinal conditions right now. Uh, the cost of vision center, what we found that uh, this, were, this was the cost effectiveness analysis done in three vision centers over a period of one year. And we found that uh, three vision center combined together could save a co approximately 62,000 US dollars, which is like 20,000 per vision center. So if you have a vision center, in one year you can recur the cost of entire vision center if you take all the direct and the indirect cost incurred at the vision center. Uh, this, I think, I will not uh, go in details because Mukesh has already touched about iSmart apps. So these are the technologies we are using at vision centers to uh, reduce the gap for detecting the posterior segment diseases and also management of many other conditions, which Mukesh was talking about. iSmart app, which he spoke about, non-mediatic camera, tablet-based application for door-to-door -door screening, and drone slit lamp. So this is a drone, what Mukesh has spoken about. And the iSmart app, which is a tablet-based application where the vision technician can uh, vision technician enters the data also. It's electronic data all now, and he can uh, take a picture and also upload on that tab, which can be viewed at secondary center or at the command center in the base hospital. So this all thing functions which have added because of the Weissmart app, the, the gap between the cities and the rural areas have reduced. And uh, with this app, we can, with this iSmart app or technology, we can uh, do good patient care. Uh, there's a good quality control. We can sit in Hyderabad and monitor the quality of the data, what is coming in in the tabs. We can also doing education of the vision center through this tab. So we always send uh, just, a, uh, just a minute pearl to vision center every day or a quiz kind of thing so that the vision center uh, technicians get a stimulus to uh, uh, and do the quiz or take up the quiz and uh, improve his clinical skills also. It also gives us the idea of coverage which villages patients are coming from and also gives the idea of how much spectacles are dispensed. So we can see everything online. So basically, the idea is everything online, you sit in Hyderabad and you can monitor all these things, which you were not able to do when it was a manual system in place. So uh, this is the initial stages when tablets were given to these vision centers and training was done. And uh, this is the front sheet of the, and uh, this is what the tablet, they take the picture and send to the command center. Uh, so just example of one month we had, uh, in, this was in October 2017 where we could pick up almost 2.5% of the glaucoma cases using the teleophthalmology consultation. So almost 34 glaucomas was picked up, picked up of 1362 consultation done. I'm sure there will be some missed also, but at least they were picking much more than what they were doing previously. And now this is Project Sangam, which is more like education for the vision technicians through using the tablet-based application. 
and this is what the impact which have which have created over the past 10 years from 98 to 2014 the prevalence has gone almost 200 percent it has gone down in both the areas where we had vision center for the longest duration i'll just skip this so this thanks to the team of all the vision technicians we have almost like 150 160 working in the field it's all because of their efforts these are happening and i'm standing on behalf of them and speaking for their behalf thank you